day. It's kind of a mess because we're really under crude today. But here is the house where we are. There's the house. And what we've done is we've tented it. Make sure my focus is on here. Here we go. We've tented it. It's called with some uh, black visqueen. It's kind of the, the poor man's version of uh, duvetine. The problem with the visqueen versus the duvetine, a couple things. I don't know if you can see it or not. There we go. The visqueen is a little shiny. And um, especially when you have lights on the inside um, shooting out, or I'll show you on the inside. You can get reflection off your lights. If you, and it, obviously, if it's supposed to be black, you can't. You don't want to have reflections. This is duvetine. This is soft. It's like a. It's like a thick. It's like a felt and a canvas kind of put together. It's fire retardant, so that it won't. Uh, if you have lights close to it, it's not going to go on fire. But that's this is expensive stuff to have on a low budget shoot. So we have a couple pieces where it's important. Oh, also the visqueen flaps in the wind a bunch and makes noises and the sound guys really love that but here's the setup so right now we are outside we have a couple windows going in we've got a 1200 HMI shooting in one of the windows to act like moonlight we've got it blued up so that it, and some diffusion on the front so that it acts like a nice soft moonlight and on the back we've got a fake wall or fake uh, hallway going in to uh, this is supposed to be there's supposed to be another part of the house behind here, <clears throat> and I already showed you the front here. Um, we'll go in there, and there's Joe. Joe, hey, you, do you, how, how do you like visqueen and sound? It's very loud unless you staple it down. So we'll have Joe tell us about sound a little bit later. Sounds good. It's Mike again. So on the porch here, you can see we have this piece, this uh, six by duotine, to cover any reflections from the visqueen when we look out this way. I'm gonna stop and I'll open up my, I'll stop here in a second, or my thing. So we have one Kino, some nice blue coming in this window to act like moonlight. <clears throat> Come in here, here's the interior set. I'm gonna stop and crack my ass. There we go, so here's that window with the 1200 coming through it. Let's see here. There's that light. <clears throat> and it's mimicking moonlight coming in. So our action for the actors, one sitting in this chair, loading a shotgun, the elf girl sitting here, they stand up, they walk over here, have a conversation back and forth. So lighting wise, <clears throat> we need to make sure there's something illuminating. Okay, so shooting wise, we started here and uh, Kind of a tight two shot between these two chairs, and uh, it was mostly they turned into mostly his coverage. And I just popped it on a tighter lens and got it tight. And then we moved over on this side and got her tight on her action on this chair. So anyway, lighting wise, <clears throat> and they go up here and, we're, and you, you tweak stuff up here when they stand up. It's a different setup. We have a kino with uh, some nice warm tungsten light coming off of it, so that it mimics. The nice interior light that we have coming from this practical that isn't really doing much for the scene but it makes it look like there's there's light motivating from somewhere and then over here you can see it we have this tweeny that actually got turned but it was um, giving a nice rim light tungsten and rim light on the actors as they sat here and the other chair that's kind of the setup we have inside. <clears throat> um, next, we're going to be moving over, looking this way. And uh, if I have time, <clears throat> we'll show you that setup. We'll probably have something like, we'll move this Kino to be over here. We're going to have some actors. Actors going to be here, 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 and there. So we'll motivate some blue moonlight coming in through the windows. <clears throat> Maybe a blue Kino from just over here to act like that window, shape it with some flags like the one on that tweeny, tweeny right there. And uh, some over here. So it just kind of gives a nice moody light to the actors' faces. Let's see here. 
we go. I'll try and find some. I'll see if I can snag some screenshots of what the settings look like through the red. So you can get a better idea. So there you go. Lighting setup from this this inside. So this is nighttime. We're gonna move to daytime. Uh, after the next scene, we'll rip all the tenting down. It'll be daytime in here, and it'll look good.